Unit 5, Lesson 6, Methods for Multiplying Decimals. Number 1. Find each product. Show your reasoning. A. 1 and 2 tenths times 11 tenths. That's equivalent to 12 tenths times 11 tenths, which equals 132 hundredths, or 1 and 32 hundredths. B. 34 hundredths times two hundredths equals sixty-eight ten thousandths. C. One hundred twenty times two thousandths equals two hundred forty thousandths or twenty-four hundredths. Number two. You can use a rectangle to represent three tenths times five tenths. A. What must the side length of each square represent for the rectangle to correctly represent 3 tenths times 5 tenths? Each side length of each square would represent 1 tenth. B. What area is represented by each square? 1 tenth times 1 tenth equals 1 hundredth, so the area of each square would be 1 hundredth of a unit squared. C. What is 3 tenths times 5 tenths? Show your reasoning. 3 tenths times 5 tenths equals 15 tenths. Number 3. One gallon of gasoline in Buffalo, New York costs $2.29. In Toronto, Canada, one liter of gasoline costs 91 cents. There are 3 and 8 tenths liters in one gallon. A. How much does one gallon of gas cost in Toronto? Round your answer to the nearest cent. 91 cents times 3 and 8 tenths is the same thing as 91 hundredths times 38 tenths, which equals 3 and 458 thousandths. And since the 8 in the thousandths place is greater than 5, we can go ahead and round 45 cents up to 46 cents. So one gallon of gas in Toronto costs $3.46 per gallon. B. Is the cost of gas greater in Buffalo or in Toronto? How much greater? Gas in Buffalo is $2.29 a gallon, and gas in Toronto is $3.46 a gallon. In Toronto, the price of gas per gallon is $1.17 more than it is in Buffalo. Number 4. Calculate each sum or difference. A. 10 and 3 tenths plus 3 and 7 tenths. That equals 14. B. 20 and 99 hundredths minus 4 and 97 hundredths. That equals 16 and 2 hundredths. C. 15 and 99 hundredths plus 23 and 51 hundredths. That equals 39 and 50 hundredths or 39 and 5 tenths. D. 1 and 893 thousandths minus 353 thousandths. That equals 1 and 540 thousandths or 1 and 54 tenths. Number 5. Find the value of 49 fiftieths divided by 7 sixths. Use any method. We can find this value by multiplying by the reciprocal of 7 sixths. So 49 fiftieths times 6 sevenths equals 42 fiftieths or 21 twenty fifths. Number 6. Find the area of the shaded region. All angles are right angles. Show your reasoning. I'm going to multiply the length times the width. So 60 times 30 equals 1,800 units squared. And I notice in these corners, there's little sections that are removed. 
one section is a 10 by 10 section, so that would be like subtracting 100 units squared. Then there are two other sections that are 10 units by 15 units, so each of those would be like subtracting 150 units squared, because 10 times 15 equals 150. 1,800 minus 100 minus 150 minus another 150 equals 1,400 units squared. The area of the shaded region is 1,400 units squared. Number 7. A. Priya finds 1 and 5 hundredths times 2 and 8 tenths by calculating 105 times 28, then moving the decimal point three places to the left. Why does Priya's method make sense? Priya's method makes sense because moving the decimal point three places to the left makes the value of the number a thousand times smaller, and one and five hundredths times two and eight tenths is a thousand times smaller than 105 times 28. B. Use Priya's method to calculate 1 and 5 hundredths times 2 and 8 tenths. You can use the fact that 105 times 28 equals 2,940. 2,940. I'm going to move the decimal point three places to the left like Priya did, and that gives me 2 and 94 hundredths, or 2 and 940 thousandths. C. Use Priya's method to calculate 15 ten thousandths times 24 thousandths. 15 times 24 equals 360. 15 ten thousandths would move the decimal four places to the left, and 24 thousandths would move the decimal three places to the left. So I need to move the decimal place seven places to the left. So I need to move the decimal point seven place values to the left. The answer would be 360 millionths or 36 hundred thousandths. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 6, Methods for Multiplying Decimals.